town of Rivervale was a corporate uh, owned by the, uh, the the yacht club or the golf club of town uh, Rivervale was actually owned by the golf club the golf club of Rivervale. And I said, well, just ask the federal district court judge or ask a district court judge in your state. Um, give me a ask him a technical she looked up what a declaratory judgment was, and I said, it just basically just gives you his opinion of uh, what rights you have, what rights they have, and where your standing is, you know, but it has to be a matter of controversy. It can't be a fake uh, question. Like, you can't say, is there really Santa Claus or is there really a God? You can't ask judges questions like that. It has to have to be a controversy that is actually uh, in progress. Like I said, she found out uh, under Title 28 in Section 2201, and it's uh, the creation of a remedy. And um, what she did, she said, case of actual controversy within the court's jurisdiction. And then uh, it explains how a declaratory judgment works. It just basically says that the term by administrating authority, any court of the United States, upon the filing of an appropriate pleading, may declare the rights and other legal relations of any interested party seeking such declaration whether or not further relief or is, could be sought. And then the, the declaratory uh, judgment, it shall have, um, it, it just basically gives you, you know, it's like she was trying to figure out, does she have to pay a tax to a corporate entity? She was trying to say the town of Rivervale is a corporation owned by the country club of Rivervale. She said, why should I have to pay a country club who owns the town a tax assessment? I said, just ask the ask a district court judge or ask a federal district court judge a question. It's called a declaratory judgment. I said, whenever you folks have a question, you can't figure it out and you don't want to spend money on an attorney, just send a question to the judge. And the judge will uh, give you what his legal opinion is. And uh, it's just an opinion, but he'll will give you legal advice. He'll tell you where you stand in that claim. It's like, well, am I the citizen of the town? Can, can only a government create a, a, a tax assessment fee for the citizens of the town, or am I part, since the town is owned by a corporation, does that mean I am now a corporate like employee, or a corporate sponsor, or a corporate entity as well? What, what, what standing am I now in this town? Am I a citizen of the town, or since the town is now a corporation, am I just like an employee for Pepsi or Coca-Cola? And are they allowed to charge me a fee for that privilege to live in this town? I said, just ask them a simple question like that and see what the judge comes back with. So that's how you get legal advice without having to pay for an attorney. The judges will give you, uh, like, the finding of facts and the conclusions of law. I said, so just, oh, yeah, see, this is the answer I gave her. I said, uh, hmm. yeah, this is the, yeah, this is, this is the answer I gave her. I just found it real quick, yeah. I said, just write a letter, basically to the head clerk of the court, which is the head judge, is the head clerk, and in your district, the simple question, and you wish for their legal and lawful findings and facts and conclusions in law, you could ask them a simple question as, does a corporation have a right to tax my property and order me to pay their debt they claim is now due, or can only a government that they tax upon its citizens? Or because I reside within a corporate township, am I now a corporate citizen or one of its subjects? And I said, so just tell the judge thank you. I said, it's basically that simple of a letter. You don't have to make these things 800 pages long. And the judge has to um, give you an answer. And if you don't, if you don't like it, you could do give him the old Platsky versus CIA. And the judge can't dismiss any uh, anything that you bring into his court because you used, used Platsky versus CIA, I think it's 1975, and that's where a man was trying to sue the CIA for um, information that they had in the hand, and they wouldn't release it. So he didn't know how to really file a lawsuit in the federal court. So the federal court just threw out his claim all the time, 12B6 and 12B6 and 12B6. So he took it over to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said, no, a district court judge cannot 12B6 you. The other side cannot 12B6 The CIA can't 12B6 you. The judge can't grant them a 12B6 motion if you're not confident in the law, if you're an idiot, if you don't understand legalese, the judge has got to walk you through it. So this is why I hear a lot of people say, oh, they told me six million, throw my claim out, oh, I can't do it. Oh, the judge won't do it, I don't understand what I'm doing, I can't afford it. Do Platsky, it's a simple name, I think it's P-L-A-T-Ski, S-K-Y versus C-I-A.